Hello everyone, so I thought I'd come back with another favourites video, um, try and keep up that momentum and keep it a regular thing because I think you kind of enjoy these videos, hopefully. First up let's do some beauty bits and the first item is this Blush Queen Blusher by George, this is in Coral Crush. Let me open up the pan and you can see the colour a bit better. There you go. So it's a really nice kind of orangey, well, coral, funnily enough, um, colour. And I think that will just be beautiful. When we start getting a bit of colour on our faces, it's a really nice summer blush colour. Obviously the packaging is nothing fancy because obviously they're keeping the cost down. It's a very affordable blusher. But in terms of the product, I really like it. It's, it has a great colour payoff. It blends well. Really nice, flattering hue, so all round sums up for that one. And these are cruelty free as well, I might add. And actually another product from George is one of my favourites at the moment. And this is, what colour is this? Rare, it's called, and it's one of their satin lipsticks. Put it on here. Mm -mm -mm. So, for a while we got used to kind of the drying feeling of matte lipsticks, but we're getting a few ones come back now that have some moisture to them, they feel nice when you put them on. It's nice when you put your lips together. This one got a nice aroma actually. Slightly like a creamy, almondy, cocoa y. Yeah, nice. I just think it's quite a nice, wearable, everyday colour and it doesn't dry my lips out. Really nice, and again, it's nice and lightweight because it's in affordable um, packaging. Just a nice one to have in your handbag for everyday use. Since going a bit blonder, I've been wanting to keep it a more icy um, kind of colour rather than going for that warm blonde that I used to have, which was verging on kind of strawberry blonde. And to maintain that, I've been using, I've been, you know, going back and forth with these, and these are from Bleach. Um, so this one's a silver shampoo, and it says, Dismiss brassy tones and eliminate unforgivable yellow. I found that struggle to say tonight, unforgivable yellow. Um, and it really works, it really does give you a more icy tone um, to it. Now this one is the Smoky Shampoo for a Dirtier Blonde. So when you put this in, you get more of that sort of grey blonde, that almost lavender feel to it. So depending how far I want to go down that avenue will depend which one I use. This is, I think this is the one I'm using more often, but maybe if I want a bit more of a an impact or a noticeable tint to it, I will be going for the smoky shampoo. These are actually ones that Sai used when he had his blonde hair, so that's why we've got them around. When I don't just want to use my basic Epsom bath salts when I have a bath to ease my muscles and aches and pains and all that sort of stuff, I use my Feather and Down Sweet Dream Sleep Salts, and I use these ones if I know I'm having my bath right before bed. They've got calming lavender and chamomile essential oils in them, so they just have ingredients in them that aid sleep, and obviously we need help with that, some of us, so it's, um, it's a really nice product, actually. And I emailed them to ask if these were cruelty-free, and these are as well, which is good news. They have a really nice range of sleep products as well, and if you have any friends of yours that maybe struggle with relaxing or with sleep, then I think they do some really nice little gifts that are a nice thoughtful but useful gift to give to someone that you know might need a de-stress. As I keep telling you, I've been having some issues with my bladder, kidney region, and for the first time in my life I'm really being very thoughtful about what things I put into contact with it. That sounded wrong. I've always <laughs> taken care and consideration with that stuff. But I mean, I've, I'm looking after that area more than ever is what I'm trying to say. And so, I did some research research. I did some research online to just see what products help people that have recurring bladder infections, UTIs, kidney infections, etc. Um, to see what might be good for me to start putting into my body. And these things came up. So this is Dimanos, and I got 100 grams, which is 100 servings. And I got this on Amazon, and I got it for a deal. So it was a reasonable, reasonably good price. I felt. Um, and this is vegan as well. So all I do, there's a little, all I have to do, there's a little scoop in here, oh, it's got lost in there. I have to put, th like, little scoops worth in a drink in the morning, um, and in a drink in, a, in the evening. 
And the good thing about this is you can't taste it in the drink. It's not one of those powders that will literally flavor the drink and take over the, the whole taste. It's, it's completely, I don't even know I'm drinking it, which makes it a very unhassily thing to do, a very easy thing to do is what I'm trying to say. It's like not a problem at all. And then the other thing that I've been taking is OptiBac Probiotics and I've been taking yeah, am I taking this once or twice a day? Anyway, but this is vegan, vegetarian, soy free, yeast free, gluten free, no added sugars, suitable in pregnancy, suitable in menopause, has life cultures and natural bacteria. And yeah, this just helps the lady area basically. So it's two high quality strains found in the vaginal and urinary tracts are scientifically proven to reach the vagina alive. This supplement has been taken in clinical trials by thousands of women around the world. Um, so I'm hoping if I am quite strict with myself and have this regimen of taking these every day and you know not having too many baths using sp specific vaginal washes rather than other soaps, no douching, all that sort of stuff, I'm hoping I will have less issues in that area and it won't be the bane of my life that it has been for the last few months. And the good thing about these pills as well is they're very small and they really slip down very easily so they're not those chalky ones that are big and catch on the back of your throat and make you gag. You don't notice you're taking these easy so very easy to do. Another beauty thing is this Body Shop Lip, Lip Definer. It's a really great colour that's kind of it's, it's a brown, but it's got a hint of pink to it. I think it's called Dusky Rose, actually. It does, it's not the colour it looks like there. It's Just look at the nib, that's the colour it is. And I've got it on as a liner, actually. So whenever I wear kind of an everyday pinky, browny, neutral shade, then I use that to line just to neaten it all up a little bit. It's soft enough that it feels nice when you glide it on your lips and it doesn't drag or catch on any of the ridges, but it's not so soft that you have to sharpen it all the time and you feel like you're wasting product all the time. So it's the perfect balance of um, soft and hard. Next up is this water bottle, which was a gift from Sennheiser when I went on that bus trip a few weeks back. And I'm one of those people that finds drinking water an absolute boo bake. I think it's so boring, I hate it. And I know you're meant to drink, what is it, two liters a day, but that just seems an awful lot to me. And I've always been very bad at it. Um, but since I've had this bottle, I think because I quite enjoy doing that, <laughs> um, I've been wanting to use it more and I've been more inclined to drink. But because my fad is so useless, it does mean I'm pretty much spending all my time on the toilet, but I feel like it must be doing some good. And it's a rather cool looking bottle as well, isn't it? Talking of Sennheiser, the earphones that I was given, um, which you saw me reviewed, which you saw me reviewed, which you saw me review in a video specifically um, a few weeks back, I absolutely love them. And I don't know what I did before them now. They come with me everywhere. They are my commute buddies. I love that they go over the ear and they actually stay in my ear because I've never found like in-ear ones that stay in, but because they kind of rest on the top of the ear, these ones actually stay in my head, which is great. The sound quality is unreal. Obviously it's useful for me if I want to do any videos because it's got the microphone that picks up the sound. I just love them and think they are as good as I was telling you they were, frankly. I told you I don't do sponsor videos about things I don't like. Since going shorter, I really wanted to be able to do soft waves in my hair, but not with a GHD. Because when I do GHDs, I either end up with kind of ringlets or very kind of sharp um, waves in it. I wanted a really soft wave. And I got sent this actually by Remington and it's doing the trick marvelously. It's rose gold, as you can see, shouldn't do that. Um, it's got a temperature thing that you can go up and down and it will say the temperature in that little screen there. It's got this swivel thing which helps so you don't get all tangled and it means that this is gonna last longer and not need to be replaced like some others that I've had in the past. And I just really like it. So far, so good. I still need to find a product that will help the, the curl be strong for longer because I still haven't found a product that I, I like completely that will hold 
the curl I create, but that is a work in progress, but I still absolutely love this tool. Um, very much recommended. So it also comes with a glove so you don't burn your hand as well, which is nice. Or, which is nice, but it's just, that's the understatement. Obviously we don't want to burn our hands. That would not be nice. So I went to the Isle of Dogs um, Wes Anderson exhibition the other day and we got given these amazing pins. And I don't know about you, but I love a pin, but I also love Asian posters and artwork and stuff. So it's really up my street and I can't wait to put them on one of my denim jackets. But I kind of want to keep it on here as well. Oh, collector's item or something to wear. I don't know. Some food things next, and I want to talk about these vegan um, fish fingers by corn. I, I've i been absolutely astonished by these because they genuinely taste like the real thing. You don't feel like you're sacrificing anything. Put these in a sandwich and have a fish finger sandwich and you literally wouldn't know that you're not eating the real deal. Um, I always think a lot of my favourite um, meat alternatives are often things that have um, a coating on them whether it's a bread crumby thing or or like a Kentucky type um, coating because I guess it just fools your brain into thinking oh that's a texture I know that's I'm eating something I'm used to sort of thing um, but these are really good and there's a real prominent fishy taste I don't know how they've achieved it but it's very effective so I, I really recommend these and it's nice for those days you can't be bothered to cook like a vegetable curry from scratch. You can just bung them in the oven, put them in a bath and you're sorted. Another thing is gotcha chang, which is something that Sai introduced me to and we get it from the Asian supermarkets. As you can see, so what I do is when I make a ramen at home, I put a spoonful of this in and it just gives it so much depth, so much flavour and a richness to it and a, a nice little kick as well. It's actually a hot pepper paste that's been fermented, which sounds revolting, but I can assure you it's revolutionised my ramen eating. And just, I don't know, when you buy those cheap ramen packets, they're nice enough, but this kind of elevates it and makes it feel like a proper dinner, like a proper good dinner. Next up, I wanted to talk about Everybody's Talking About Jamie, which is the musical that I went to a few weeks back. I just wanted to talk about going to musicals or going to the theatre in general because I think we all get stuck in a bit of a social rut where we just do the same things whether it's go to the pub or go to the cinema or whatever it is you do and sometimes it's really good to do something you haven't done in ages or something you've never done before and it gives you a kick in your step. Is that the expression? No, I don't think it is. It gives you a... I don't know. <laughs> I had a nice time is what I'm trying to say. Hearing a really amazing stage voice very up close and personal is also, can be a very emotional experience. I remember when his mum in the um, story is singing her big song. Oh God, it got you in the, in the, in the, this, the heart. Oh my God, shall I just give up and start again? <laughs> it's a really fun musical. The dancing's incredible and all different types of styles as well. The singing's great. The music is incredible. But also the story is so important. It's obviously based on a real life guy who you saw in the vlog about it. And um, it's confronting lots of things that people will be going through in their lives, things that are very scary to confront and um, they face prejudice because of it. So there's some really important messages in it as well. But this is just a general thing to say. I've liked doing something that's out of the norm and it's reminded me how much I really like going to the theatre. So I think I'm going to try and book in another theatre trip by the end of the year, if possible. And finally, fashion-wise, um, I thought I'd talk about some of my favourite purchases of the last few months. And these are these studded boots from H&M. And um, these are size 4. I've got to say they're quite tight for a size 4. So I think their um, sizings might be slightly... Off, so maybe size up but I did size up or I tried them and they were too big so I actually needed a four and a half to find the perfect fit but if I wear a really thin sock or like a pop sock these these are fine to wear but I just think they're rad they're very rock and roll stroke country just love them and then from Primark I got these little pink dusky pink faux suede boots for seven pounds like you can't Go to Starbucks and have something. Well, you can actually. Um, 
What can I compare it to? You, what's seven pounds? That's like two McDonald's. Does anyone go to McDonald's? It's like, it's like, it's like 14, 50 piece. <laughs> and I just think they're really nice and the heels, perfect for me because I'm awful in heels and this is like the sort of heel I can walk in all day with not too much trouble. When I say not too much trouble, it means I might not fall down. I'm not going to say my feet won't burn <laughs> by the end of the day, but at least I might not um, fall down. So that's good. Another favourite, it's on Netflix. Everyone go and watch The Defiant Ones. It's um, about, Do about Dr. Dre and his friend Jimmy who started Beats. And their history and their career is so inspiring, so incredible. Oh, I can't recommend it enough. You'll see cameos from like Bruce Springsteen, Tom Petty, Gwen Stefani. Um, oh, so many big names. Um, Steve Nicks. Just watch it. That's all I'm saying. Right, I'm actually going to go now. <sighs> Thanks for watching. See you in a video soon.